It's a Deep Slant 101 presented by Xfinity. Joining me, my good I want to say my good friend, Jonathan <laughs> Grenard, because I feel like we're friends now. Right. You've been around for a minute, right? Right, right for sure. I mean, like four years now, I would call that a friendship for sure. <laughs> Got to be. I don't know, what are we doing here? <laughs> well, I was just saying, I was like, I think you're the longest tenured Texan on defense, and yeah. we just confirmed that you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, like I said, year four, man, coming in that COVID year was, uh, was definitely a, a, a whirlwind, a, t- a twist, but um, it was fun. Like I said, I'm blessed to be here, but... I definitely wear that title now, I guess. You have been <laughs> through it. You've been through it. A right. number of coaches, a number of defensive coordinators. Right. I feel like there's just a different buzz or excitement about you and just mm-hmm. this team this year. Yeah, I mean, anytime you get a fresh start, you get a clean start, I think that should be in a breath of fresh air for anyone. Um, obviously, you know, not just here, but anywhere, because you get to just start all over and, you know, show people who you really are, your true identity. Um, but, yeah, it's been fun. I mean, I obviously have been on a – not on the side we want things, obviously, but, um, but just to be here and go through the experience of growing pains, understand how to grow – not just a player, but as a man, um, as a family man as well. All those things just helped me out. So I'm just glad I was able to, you know, experience those things with those guys. All right. So after the game at Baltimore, you right. posted on Instagram mm. just some pictures and mm-hmm. some highlights. First of all, congrats on the sack. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it. And a it. fantastic yeah. game in week one. What a way to start the yeah. season. But you had the sack on Lamar Jackson, mm-hmm. and you posted a picture and a video. And yeah. I, I was looking at the comments, and right. he actually commented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, can you just take that picture <laughs> and that video down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh that's my boy man. We uh go all the way back to Louisville. Um, we were in the same class coming in. Um, from straight out of high school, we ended up taking our visits. Uh, you know, I went to the spring game together, so we pretty much known each other before we even graduated high school. Um, but yeah, just to get to that moment, we already knew what he was gonna do from the first day he stepped yeah. on campus. Especially when people seen the viral video of him, you know, juking guys out their shoes. Um, I didn't even know that was him at that time. So um, when I seen that video, it was news to me. Um, and seeing him get to this point now, we all it's all expected at this point. The type of guy he is. Um, the type of character he shows, not just about the game, but to everyone around him, the people that, you know, follow him. Um, he's a great guy. And I'm just, I mean, the sky's, the sky's the limit for that guy. I think he's still going to do more things exceedingly and beyond. So um, it was good to definitely uh, be on the other side of, you know, obviously sacking him. He was off limits and practicing college a lot of times. <laughs> but uh, to, just to wrap him up, man, uh, and get a, get a sack on him, my belt was great. Just not for me, but uh, for, the, for the team. It's not an easy quarterback to right. get a sack or get the sort of stats that you had on him. Uh, you, you know, you look so impressive. You came out firing. Mm-hmm. I saw your pregame speech. Yeah. You were yeah, fired up. Yeah, the sack, yeah. the way that first drive ended. You seem different here in year four. Mm-hmm. What do you think is different about you in year four? Um, I just, I mean, it's a combination of things. You got, you're confident. Um, you, you're confident in the system, the scheme, the coaches, the players around you. Um, your technique and everything. It just makes you go into and not have to worry about anything. The only thing you got to worry about is bringing your juice. And I think that's the main thing where I try to do for the, the entire team. And obviously, it's the first game, so you want to start on a high note, start out fast. So. Um, I feel like, you know, that was something that the team needed at the time, whether it's the pregame speech, whether it's me, you know, talking pulling to the side and saying something. Um, but I just feel like that energy was just needed and necessary. And um, I think we're going to need that again, obviously, mm-hmm. um, every game moving forward and then some, just because we understand, like, with us coming out with that mentality and we still didn't get the result we wanted, that means we got to take it up another notch. So I just think that um, it's, it's going to be infectious for everybody coming, coming through. So I think I, I, if I got to be that person, I'll be it. Well, you've been through so much, like we mentioned, these last four years. Coaching changes, you've gone through your share of injuries. When you look back, what's been the toughest thing that you've had to overcome, and and how do you think you really got past it, both physically and mentally? Yeah, yeah. Um, Besides injuries, I think injuries um, humbled me a lot. Um, Obviously, in times I lost, you know, you lose people. I lost my stepfather uh, during those COVID times, and obviously. um, Oh, that's right. Yeah, 21. Yeah, well, yeah, to COVID and uh, 21 as well. Um, You know, well, going in 22 as well. So I think that. All of those things have a combination of, you know, settling me down and sitting me down to understand, like, who I truly am, you know, who do I lean on with my faith, you know, friends around me, my support system. Um, and I think that just sitting down and makes you do that, it was actually very beneficial for me. So seeing those things and all those types of, you know, experiences through other people, um, you know, just watching the game and understand how I can protect myself and perfect my craft while I'm on the sideline, while I was hurt at those times. Um, it just made me a better player. And now that when I do get out there, as you see, I have that fire. It makes me, you know, appreciate the game that much more because as we know this is a physical game i mean you can literally take one step as we just seen sadly unfortunately with a rod you know take literally 75 what was it 75 seconds he's played in that game yeah, four and snaps, so four snaps in this season is all over and i've been there before so um i just understand that this game can it's, it's a privilege to play this and i think that when you go in with that mentality and just try to make sure that you take advantage of every day um you, you'll be able to cherish those moments and you won't actually have any regret when that time you know because we all have that time that's mm-hmm. going to come and you don't want to be looking on the other end of it and just saying i wish i did this i wish i did that and you know I, i'm just making sure i'm not going to do that yeah you're definitely not because yeah. now you've got yourself to play for yeah. and a new baby 
on the way. Yeah, 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 in a yeah. couple of weeks, we've yeah. been talking about this. It's it's very very close to yeah. the wire now. Yep. How many weeks? Uh, she, she's due on the thirtieth. Shoot, we're we're at the, almost at the finish line now. You so. are very very yeah, close. Yeah, yeah, okay, we're, so we're how do you, close. do you talk to other teammates? Like, how do you do this dance now? You're right. in season. Right, right, a baby right. could be coming we're, any day. Yeah. Maybe you'll be here. Yeah. Hopefully you're here. Hopefully. And you're not, uh, you know, <laughs> right. in a away game. So right. how, how is that all working? Out? Yeah. Uh, like as you just mentioned, I literally just got done talking to uh, Kaimi earlier, just about you know what's the sleep schedule like, man. Like what's what's the first couple of days like? What's the first oh, you're couple after the baby? Literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm like, also look, that. how do I need to prepare that? And or and even like the lead up for other things like that. It's just you know always on my toes. But I just know that um, my fiance, she's amazing. She's she's one of those people that literally like, hey, you worry about ball, I got this over here. Like, cause I mean, at the end oh, of that's day, a rock star. Move at, right at, there. At, at the end of the day, I mean. I can't do anything regardless or not. So I just, just be there for her as a support system. Um, and she knows I always got her back. She got my back. But when she told me those things, uh, in the beginning and we first, when she first found out that we were pregnant, um, I mean, that was just an instant weight off my shoulders where I can just say, hey, look, you know, I'm always here. She knows I'm always there. But she's like, hey, look, you worry about ball. I mean, whenever it's your time, when you come home now, you're going to get her for sure. Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. but just in general <laughs> and everything else, like you 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 take care of ball and worry about that because the mission doesn't change. I mean, you, that's the reason you got here. And that's the reason why um, we both took this journey to do this. You know, when we first decided to make this jump, when obviously I got drafted to come out to Houston, mm -hmm. the, the both of us. So um, in doing that and having that person in your back, in your back pocket and as a left hand, right hand man, Whatever you want, my partner in crime. I mean that 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 should give you obviously more confidence too, like I had on Sunday too. So um, I think that she's been awesome. So I think we're going to continue to lean on her as this time comes. I up. mean, it makes year four yeah. a lot more exciting because huh? oh, yeah. it's going to end totally different it from right. how it began. It, it has, has to, go, to right. go right. It has to go right. <laughs> All right. So CJ Stroud was talking about how you were one of the players that took him under yeah. your wing when he first got here. What's your relationship mm -hmm. been like with him? Yeah, man. Um, CJ. I mean, he's just. He like a lot of guys that I've like I've known that's like I've been really cool with not like a lot of guys I've known, but like the people that I've been really close with, um, they just always have been humble down to earth guys who are hungry. And he comes from a winning program where he's not used to losing. And I told him there's a lot of times where I had to learn in this league when I first come in and like I mean, you don't want the mission is never to lose, but sure. these things happen. We're in the pros now, so you have to understand how to, you know, have the 24 hour rule. I mean, you, you whether it's good or bad, you need to love it, um, watch the film on it, and get rid of it because at the end of the day, I mean, these guys get paid too. I mean, you're, yeah, you were, like I said, he was, you were drafted, whatever you were. But these guys, that makes them more hungry to come after a guy like right. you. So, um, but you're our leader, you know what I'm saying? So when you being our leader, and I told him, when you being our leader, we're gonna go as fast as you are. I always know we're gonna have your back. You know, as fast as you go, and if you if you need some help, we're gonna be we're right there to help you out. Mm -hmm. So don't feel like you have to do everything. Of course, yes, we know, you know, win or loss. They're gonna say it's the quarterback's fault, you know. It's so just understand the territory that comes with it. Um, but he's such a guy who just wants to be better and wants to be great, and I think that's the part where you know uh, I can always work with that. And then, and if you're a good guy, a good human being under, you know, underneath that, I think that's the best part about it because now we can have personal conversations. Where we're not just talking about football all the time. We can talk about life and it just translate into the football world. So um, he, the sky's the limit for him. Like I said, I mean, he was. You can tell obviously he was probably down on himself, you know. Obviously, he felt like he played terrible in the games as fault. Like, bro, look, you came out here and played against. This is first it's NFL your first game. NFL game. Actually, he was getting a lot of positive exactly. feedback. Exactly, that's what the I'm telling. Like, well, yeah. and, and he's a guy he don't want to hear that, and that's the part I love about him because right. yeah. it's like you yeah, do want to hear that. You want to hear that, but you don't. But I, I'll tell you, bro, you did you did your thing. But in the same token, you went out there against one of the top defenses in the in the top environments. In the NFL, on the road, on the yeah, road. So, start. like, you just got to give yourself a little credit. It doesn't mean you're you're, you're being you're settling for you know satisfaction or or, or uh, just being complacent. It's just a matter of just taking your victories in a small area where you're not beating yourself up all the time. Because I've been there. You feel like when you don't c congratulate yourself at times, you never know what is good for you, right. and what you need to hear, or what you need to do to build upon it. So, um, having a guy like that as our quarterback, our leader, and leading this team at such a young age like he is. Um, and having that confidence and that mentality, I mean, we, we, I can rock with that any day. I'm always curious about defensive guys that yeah. have that relationship yeah. with the offensive because mm -hmm. you just think, oh, you're probably with your defensive right. players, you're with your D-line group, but to, like, cultivate right. a relationship with mm -hmm. the quarterback yeah. who's yeah. a rookie, he's got his receivers right. and his, you know, offensive players 
he can hang out with. But like for sure. the fact that you and him yeah. have had this, where does that come from? Does that come, happen in the off season? Does it happen in practice? Yeah. Um, I think as soon as he got drafted, I mean, I, 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 we, I followed him on IG. Um, and obviously I seen him um, when he came in, uh, came to the facility, obviously the first time through OTAs. And in front of Rip, I mean, he said, what's up? I mean, introduce yourself. And, okay. you know, he was very proactive to everyone, not just, you know, to just me or a couple other guys. But yeah, like you, like you say, I mean, you would usually think the relationship is like, you know, offense against defense, but you know, for myself, I, I always give him pointers to anybody I talk to, whether it's a tight end receiver or it's a quarterback in his instance, whether it's about cadence. So if I say, hey, look, you might have did this and switch it up or this and that, or just little pointers. Mm -hmm. Or if, if he's stepping in the pocket, if he's sitting back and doing certain things that I see, I'm not going to hold that in. I'm always like, hey, look, you know, I'm a defensive end. We look for things like this as a quarterback okay, or that sure. doing this in quarterback. So try not to do this on this and that. Or, you know, just little small things. He tells me certain things like, look, I can tell when you're coming on this play or this and that. You know, just just certain things that we always, you know, uh, just give each other pointers on. Um, not just him, but everybody on the team. I think that's just beneficial for us all. I mean, It's going to make you all better. Exactly. Yeah, sure. So when I'm in practice, you know, if I see something – Usually the defense on one side, I'm standing behind the offense because I want to see, like, hey, how are y'all operating? Like, what are y'all talking about? How do y'all, you know, communicate certain things? Because defense is, is more, you know, fast power because, you know, if an offense gets a play, they're going to go hurry up. And defense, now we got to, hey, we got to talk about this now. Right. Offense, they're, the <laughs> they're dictating it. So, yeah. you know, they can communicate differently. So I try to, you know, just pick up on little small things like that and give my pointers as needed. All right, so on Sunday, you're going to face Anthony Richardson. CJ's mm -hmm. going to get his first home oh, yeah. start. So yeah, we'll, get into sure. the home, we'll get to the home start in a second. But sure. Anthony Richardson, you didn't play with him at Florida, yeah. but I'm sure you watched a lot of Florida yeah, yeah, yeah. film just because yeah. you're former Gators. Yeah. Uh, what have you seen from him? I know it's a different challenge, but in some ways, kind yeah. of the similar to you're right, Lamar Jackson, right. right? Yeah, AR, um, I got a good relationship with him still. Yeah, that's like a little brother to me. Um, he came in a little bit later um, as my senior year was approaching. He came out as a visits and, you know, was around the team a lot oh, right okay. for our bowl game. So he was around us a lot already. Just, you know, I mean, he was at literally that same size. We honestly thought he was about to go play right with us <laughs> right then. He was that big? And he was still in high school at the time. He's, wow. He didn't even graduate yet. So um, seeing, seeing him do these things like that in the offseason times, we used to come up to Houston just, you know, whether it's with family and things of that sort, I always chop it up with him. When I always go back last year, um, when they played LSU, I, I went and chopped it up with him. So he's a really good kid, humble kid as well. Um, sky's the limit for that guy as well. I mean, we obviously got to get after him on Sunday. But, uh, but yeah, he's like you said, similar kind of mentality, really. I mean, he can he can go. He got a, he got a rocket forearm. He can run forever. Um, he's one of those one of those blessed prospects. I like to say. I mean, he's he's literally blessed with all the intangibles yeah. to be a great player in this league. Um, but yeah, I think the, the the mission doesn't stop, doesn't change. The mindset doesn't stop. Um, I think that is just the main thing. Just make sure he we get we get him, we disrupt him and make sure he's not comfortable back there. So I think that's one of the things that we all do every week. But this week a lot, obviously a lot more with his running ability. I we we were talking about how D'Amico Ryan's this is his first obviously first season as head coach. Right. He's coaching against the Indianapolis Colts. No one needs to tell him what the rivalry is like because he lived it. He was yeah. here when the franchise right. won their first right. game against the Colts. All right. Um. You know, heading into Sunday's game at home, how excited are you? Yeah. For him to make his debut, for y'all to make your 2023 debut in mm -hmm. front of this home crowd. Yeah. I, honestly, I, I'm eager to see what the crowd is going to be like because I, I just know that they, well, you gonna, started in 2020 yeah, when they and, were just like posters exactly it was literally posters there at this time <laughs> so I'm excited to see how the crowd comes I, I know they're going to come out full swing I mean just because of the hype you know obviously what we got going on right now I mean obviously you know we didn't like the result obviously and that's not the standard for what we want obviously last week but the mindset and if you see and you watch that game the passion that we still play with and fix a little couple of things I think we're gonna put ourselves in really good situations so um I, I love I love the mentality that we have even just after practice today so um, the, the mindset and the mission never changes um we're gonna continue to go out there and work our butts off but that crowd is gonna be crazy and they come with it with a combination of what we have I I, I like ourselves I like ourselves I like too ourselves. JG always a pleasure always. best of luck with the baby best yes, of luck for the rest of the season yes, great catching up with you I appreciate always. it DP thank you for sure